and welcome to We Are Finn. And we're here in the Zero Petroleum Chalet at the Farnborough International Air Show and very pleased to be able to talk to uh, Paddy Lowe. Paddy from Zero Petroleum, thanks for having us here. Um, this is like the Holy Grail, isn't it? A, a fossil-free synthetic fuel. Have you done it? It is. I mean, it, it, it's actually magical. Uh, we're all so hardwired to the idea that petroleum and all the fuels under that jet fuel particularly, uh, come from underground. I mean, it, it, that's how we grew up. It, it's just, you know, really built into our DNA almost. So even to me, when I first came across this technology to develop, it was a, a real, you know, a, a, a Damascus moment almost. No, you can make it. I mean, it is chemistry at the end of the day. Chemistry itself is magical. And that's important to say, isn't it? Because it's not a biofuel. It, it is completely different. Yeah, and the very distinct thing here is this is this is an industrially made fuel um, and it's made literally from the air and I know that sounds extraordinary but but to to bring reality to that if you burn a fuel in a jet engine or in a petrol engine what comes out the back carbon dioxide big problem we know about that and water so what do we do to make fuel is we're simply gathering up those same things those same molecules and reconstituting it back to the original fuel. So actually, the idea of making it from thin air is not extraordinary when I explain <laughs> it like that. But that's what we do, it's industrial. Uh, we're not a biofuel. Yeah, biofuel is effectively an agricultural product because it's made from plants, from crops. Uh, equally, our fuel's made from waste, which is a very honorable and great thing to do because it's good use of waste. But there are, there are limitations there. And I particularly feel that you know, in the problems we face as an industrialized society, um, going back to nature and saying, nature, please make all this energy we now consume, um, it's really wrong, you know. <laughs> Nature's under a huge pressure already. It is, it is. So we have to go, whether we like it or not, to an industrialized solution, and this is it. Yeah. Paddy, thank you very much indeed. Great thank things you. for the future. Okay, so fossil-free petroleum fuels, synthetic fuels, how do they work? in an engine. Well, here we have uh, John Rowley from uh, CFS Aero. We have here, John, a regular engine. Can we just put this fossil-free fuel in and away we go? Yes, uh, what we did is we took a stock engine from, uh, from a box, brought it um, to the uh, aircraft and ran it. But before we did that, we had to do a full accreditation run on the engine. To do that, we needed to uh, design specific systems to run and do the uh, accreditation overviews between the standard fuels that were available to us, and we overlaid and overmapped the engine to uh, to make sure that it run 100% power against all of the known fuels. So it's a drop fuel solution. So there's no loss of performance with this at all? Zero loss of performance, it maintained power and torque, and there is no modifications to the engine whatsoever. Thank you very much indeed, John. So that looks fantastic. And the drive to decarbonisation, of course, isn't just for civilian aircraft, it's also for the military. And with me now, Wing Commander Ant Fenner from the RAF. Uh, welcome to uh, Finn. You're trying to get to net zero, and using a fuel like this is essential, isn't it? How close are you to getting to that 2040 net zero target? How realistic is it? Yeah, absolutely. So we've set the, the goal of net zero by 2040, which we must do to adapt to future operating environments. Um, the RF will take a holistic approach to that. I'm delighted to be part of the team that's looking to addressing emissions from, from aircraft. So this fuel itself is net zero, produced from air and water. The emissions that you release from the fuel are the same as the carbon that you take out of the atmosphere. So completely net zero. Um, and achievable, scalable as well. The next phase of the project, which we've announced this week, is scaling up production, uh, researching and developing all the techniques and technology we need to produce this fuel at commercial scale. And we just heard from John there from CFS Aero, there's no loss in power from that particular engine. Will there be any uh, effect on operational capability when you start using this in the RAF? Yeah, so it, it, net zero is uh, a key goal of this, uh, of this project. However, it's also about resilience. So this fuel, made in the UK or wherever you want it to be it means you're not reliant on global supply chains, you're not reliant on geopolitics, you can make it when and where you want it. The advantages of that for logistics and operational flexibility are huge for us. 
and thank you very much indeed. So there you've heard it from three experts in the field for the latest on everything from this fossil free petroleum product and indeed everything with sustainability in the aviation world and the aerospace industries head to wearefin.com.